Welcome back all you beautiful bulletproof handymen and women to the bulletproof handyman business YouTube channel where there are zero paywalls between you and the information that I have to give you. So today's subject is actually a super easy one to do. Luckily, because I just got done doing a big old jobber in-depth review, it was an hour and 38 minutes long. I went through every single feature and function on there, every plan, all of the pricing, everything you ever wanted to know. Uh, that's going to be posted in a few days it's gonna take a little bit of time to get that whole one processed but this is gonna be a nice clean quick easy one super easy for me to promote because uh, I've been using these guys since day one so I'm gonna go ahead and show you who it is that I use the company name is next you're gonna need business insurance for your business there's a link in my description that you can click on to go get a quote but you gotta have insurance if you're working for property managers they are 100% gonna require it even if you're working for homeowners or for a property property manager who doesn't require it, it doesn't matter. You need to have business insurance for this business because you go taking, uh, let's say you replace a shutoff valve underneath the kitchen sink and that shutoff valve fails and they go to sue you. You need insurance, guys. If you don't have the insurance, you're going to be on the hook for tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage just by having something simple like a shutoff valve fail. So here's what we're going to do is I use Next Insurance, so I'm going to just take you straight to their website. And we're going to show you how to do this. It's going to take about five minutes and you're going to have coverage. It's way easier than you think it's going to be. You don't need to do tons of research. Here's why. There's only a couple big underwriters up above. So companies like Next and all of the other, doesn't matter who it is, every little company you go to to get insurance, they're not really the ones providing the insurance. They're all working for an underwriter and there's only a handful, like I said, so the prices and whatnot are going to remain relatively the same. The only difference in your pricing is going to be essentially how efficient the insurance company you go through is at running things. So I'm going to take you through here. So let's say you just went to Next Insurance and you clicked the little button up here that said get an instant quote. So it brings you to this page. Super easy. Watch how quick this is. You're in construction. I'm going to say, because I'm in Arizona, so I'm going to click Arizona. Next. Uh, I am a handy person. Next. Uh, my job size, less than $5,000. Next. Uh, let's see. Email address. So, bulletproofhandymen at gmail.com. Don't email me on this. I only have this email address I put in here just for this purpose of doing demo videos and stuff. If you need to email me personally, it's bulletproofhandymanbusiness at gmail.com. You can email me anytime about anything. I will reply. Sometimes it may take a few days because I get very busy with the actual handyman business and I have to put some of this on hold for a little bit while I'm out making money to support my family. But email me at bulletproofhandymanbusiness at gmail.com any time in the world that you want. I will get back to you with whatever advice it is you're seeking or whatever issue you have or story you want to tell me, information you want to give me that I can put out on the channel. I'm always available to you guys through there or you can just comment on the videos and I reply to every comment as well. So we got the email address in. And I want you all to notice I'm talking to you throughout this. This is even faster if I'm not talking, but this is a super fast and easy process. So my business does not have one or more employees. You are not an employee. If you're the business owner, you don't count as an employee. They're wanting to know if you're hiring other people to be an employee for your business. We do use tools and equipment to operate, and we do use a vehicle for business purposes. Next. General liability. Yes, we have to have that. Continue. That's what we're looking for is general liability. So let's say my name is Bob Builder. <clears throat> we're going to make up a phone number for Bob, so don't call this number, please. Let's do 598. I don't think it matters. I'll just put anything in here. 5564. I consent to receive text messages and stuff. Uh, legal business name. So let's say our name is Bob Builder LLC. And you need to be an LLC, please, guys. Just make sure you're an LLC. Uh, location address, 1234. Here we go. There's one that comes up in Yuma, Arizona. That sounds fine with me. I'm just showing you all how this works. You can put in your own email address. Yes, it's the same as the business address. 
we're going to go with LLC. Let me go over this real quick, guys. Limited liability company. What this means is if you become an LLC, if you're not an LLC, if you're this individual sole proprietorship and you damage somebody's home, especially in a big way, they can sue you personally. Ray Duke can get sued. If I am an LLC, my LLC did the work at a home. My LLC caused the damage and it's my LLC that gets sued. Now that's still a bad thing, but they can only take what the LLC has and or make the LLC go bankrupt. But for example, I own this home that I live in. They can't come after my home or my car or my wife or any of my personal assets. They can only go after what the LLC has. So please become an LLC, not an individual sole proprietorship. And a lot of y'all are going to say, oh, no, you should be an S-Corp. An S-Corp is just a type of LLC. You're still an LLC if you're an S-Corp. So what year did you start your business? For most of y'all, I'm going to assume it's 2023. Next. Does your business have more than one permanent location? No. Do you employ workers outside of Arizona? No. Next. Number of owners or members? One, that's you. If it's different, answer differently. Number of employees, zero. If it's different, answer differently. Expected subcontractor payroll in the next 12 months, I'm going to say zero because most of y'all aren't subcontracting. If you are, answer appropriately. The business services is handyman work and miscellaneous tasks. Next. <clears throat> About your business. Okay. Yeah, so there's nothing else there to do. Next. Years of experience, let's say 10. If it's different, answer differently. Expected revenue in the next 12 months. Now, guys, when it says revenue, that's talking about the total amount you're invoicing. That is not just your labor that you're charging for. But, for example, if you buy $100 worth of materials at Home Depot and you bill $100 for labor, your invoice is 200 total. Your revenue is 200 so your revenue is everything you invoice throughout the entire year all sources of income that come into your business throughout the year including just simply getting reimbursed for materials so I'm gonna call this 100,000 you have to estimate what you think yours will be you're not gonna know ahead of time what it's going to be that's okay estimate something that you think it's gonna be close to and if that starts changing throughout the year if you notice it's more especially just go update your policy it's not gonna make a giant difference in how much you pay uh, click I accept because you have to accept so you might as well just click it have you filed business insurance claims in the last three years no next do you or your employees perform any of the following activities? Do not include activities you subcontract to others. Hot application roofing? No. Would you like coverage for multifamily residential buildings? This is more than four units per building. The answer is no. If that changes or if it's different for you, update it accordingly. I understand. Oh, this is important. I'm not just going to skip over this. This policy does not cover work that requires a permit or a license other than a handy person license. That means that you can't do work as a handyman with this insurance plan that requires a permit or a license. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, but a lot of y'all do that and you need to not do that. Or if you're going to do that, get your license, adjust your insurance appropriately. Yes, it will be more expensive. However, if you have a license, you're going to be charging even more money. I understand. Has your commercial insurance coverage been canceled, revoked, non-renewed in the last three years? No, it has not. Has the business or any of its officers, owners, or partners been convicted of a felony, declared bankruptcy, had lawsuits, mediations, arbitrations, had loss or litigation, uh, or had or become aware of any losses, accidents, or circumstances that might give rise to a claim against this policy? No. When would you like your coverage to start? Today's the 14th. It's too late in the day to pick that, so I'm going to pick the 15th. So this coverage is going to start tomorrow if I were to purchase it. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, 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 mm. Thanks for tuning in, guys. What is the estimated cost to replace all tools and equipment at your business? I'm going to say $1,500. It's different for everybody. Some of y'all have $30,000 worth of tools. You can start this business, guys. Five to eight hundred dollars at some pawn shops. You can get just about everything you need to get started. So I'm just going to guess $1,500, but put in the number that's accurate for you. Next. 
Workers' compensation, if you don't have employees, you don't need it. So you're going to say, I don't need this coverage. Now, here we go. Here's your plans. You can get basic coverage for 126 a month, premier coverage for 166, or deluxe for 210. What's the difference? Well, they all have general liability. These first two give you 1 million. 1 million is what you're going to need for just about anybody, especially property managers. A million is pretty standard. This 2 million over here, if you plan on working for the state, the county, the city, government agencies, colleges, universities, people like that often require 2 million. So so you'll need this if you're going to do that. I've never needed to work for any of them. I'm strictly property management. Uh, next, negligent lawsuit coverage. You absolutely need this. 20,000 20, is not a super high number. It depends on what kind of work you're doing. But 20,000, you can do $20,000 damage to a house by having some plumbing that you did break and flood the house. So you got to be careful. But if you want to be safe, get the deluxe. Otherwise, go with 20,000. And then you'll notice the basic coverage does not include stolen or damaged tools. However, I am going to tell you this. If all of my, if every single tool I had got stolen today, I could replace it all tomorrow for less than a thousand dollars by hitting about eight pawn shops by lunchtime, most likely. I can just get it all replaced real quick. Everything I need to get started back up again. I would never file. Uh, I would never make a claim against my tools if my tools were stolen unless I had twenty or thirty thousand dollars worth of tools maybe ten thousand I don't know but the point is if you make that claim you're now gonna have to answer yes to the question have you made claims in the past your insurance premiums are gonna skyrocket and you're gonna end up paying for all that anyways so if you can if you lose all your tools don't make a claim against tools anyways like I said unless they're extremely expensive otherwise just go buy yourself some replacements do what you got to do, build them back up. But you don't want you don't want on your coverage dumb stuff like replacing a thousand dollars worth of tools. All it's going to do is make this way more expensive for years and years to come. So this is it, guys. Oh, look, or you can go yearly plans. Of course, it's cheaper if you go yearly. It would be fifteen twenty two a year, etc. But these are the prices, 126.84. You get started. If I hadn't have done this so late in the day, this would have been effective today. I could have gone and done a job tonight. But otherwise, if I purchase this right now, I can go get coverage tomorrow. I don't need to because I already have insurance and I have it through next. These are the guys that I picked when I did my research a while back. These are the ones that I recommend. They specialize in small business. One last thing before we're all wrapped up here. If you go to the description, you'll find the link for this. So please use that link to go get your quote. That helps me out. Uh, there's a link to my jobber for a free trial right now it's my my link is 20 percent off for the first six months of jobber they don't currently have any other promotions at the moment so if you're going to get jobber right now you want to use my link if you're going to get it later they may or may not have other promotions that come up that you can utilize sometimes they may or may not mesh with mine i don't know what their rules are on that but right now they don't have promotions running so make sure you use my link to get your request watch for my video coming out real quick in the next day or two for jobber because that's going to be the most in-depth review i guarantee you that you're going to find anybody to have done anywhere on youtube i will tell you everything that you ever wanted to know about jobber all the ins and outs i have other videos on jobber as well and i will have even more specialized videos on them in the future uh, I am on Twitter. There's a link in the description for Twitter. It's called Handyman Hangout is my Twitter handle over there. That's for us to communicate about handyman stuff and or just joke around and mess around. But this channel I try to keep strictly business and then that over there is more for fun and it's also business but it's more of a community page. Um, there's also a link down there for my Amazon storefront where you can get literally every single tool you will ever need to do what I do. I say that because I don't find myself without the proper tools anymore. Everything in my truck is everything I need and it's always every single thing I need. So you can go there and you can just find every damn thing that you could ever want for running your business. I think there's a few other links for a few other things but honestly it's after 7 p.m. I've been cranking out videos since I woke up this morning because today's my content day. I can't afford to take very many of these. I don't take days off for myself really ever. So my days off are these content days. It's late. I'm tired. 
I'm not doing any more videos. I'm not worried about what else is in the description. I hope all you guys are out there killing it. I hope you get yourself some insurance and send that over to your property manager so you can start getting some work. And otherwise, I will see you guys on the next one.